Hi, my name is Beth and I'm a sewing pattern designer and blogger at Sew DIY. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to shorten or lengthen a top pattern. You can use this technique for most any blouse or top. I'm going to be using my new Neri tank top pattern. I'm wearing it right now. I'll be showing you exactly how to shorten or lengthen a top with success and even talk about what you might want to do if you're lengthening it all the way into a dress. Let's get started. To lengthen or shorten a blouse pattern, you'll need your pattern, a ruler, a pen, some scissors, tape, and if you're lengthening, you'll need a little bit of extra paper. So you might be tempted just to add or shorten right at the hem. And sometimes that's gonna work and sometimes it's not. So if you are just adding on at the hem, you're gonna end up with a much bigger hem because this line will come out and it's gonna be bigger. So if you're making a dress, that might work really well. Um, it might actually fit better over the hips to have it wider as you go down, plus it would create a, a nice A-line shape. Likewise, if you just shortened from the bottom and cut it off right here, you would have a smaller opening at the hem and that might not work. So just be really careful when you are making adjustments at the bottom um, to make sure that it's gonna be the fit that you want. So in general, we wanna use our length and shorten line because that's going to ensure that our length adjustment doesn't affect any of the width that was built into the pattern. Now, if you're really making a very big adjustment and you're wanting to turn your top into a dress, then you really might wanna just extend from the bottom. But if you wanna make sure that the only change that you make is to the length, then I recommend using your length and shorten lines. So for this example, I'm using my Miri tank top pattern. And this pattern comes with a length and shorten line already on it. But if you don't have a length and shorten line, you can add one. And you just want to make sure that that line is perpendicular to either the fold line or the grain line. This pattern is cut on the fold. So here, this length and shorten line is perpendicular to that. But if you had a grain line going down here, you would just put your ruler on top and then make sure it's all lined up and perpendicular and draw that line at a 90 degree angle. So after you have your length and shortened line, you just wanna cut right along it. So if you're gonna shorten, you just overlap your pattern pieces and you slide it up however much you want. You can also create a little guide for yourself by using your ruler and drawing on the amount that you want to shorten the top. And then you can use that guide when you're moving your pattern piece up. So all you do is move it up and then tape it in place. And then you can see here that there's a little bit of a jagged edge. And all you do is you just trim that down straight. Now, if you want to lengthen your pattern, you want to grab your little scrap of paper and put it underneath the pattern. And then we're just going to tape it in place. And then we want to use our ruler to make a guide that will show how much we are lengthening. So just make up that guide. And you want to make sure that this line is parallel to that cut line and perpendicular to your grain line. So for example, if you draw a bigger grain line, this is our grain line, you would want to extend that down onto this new section of your pattern. Because this pattern is cut on the fold, you really have this straight line right here that you can use as a guide. But if you're not cutting on the fold, then make sure that you extend your grain line down. Now we have our extra pattern piece. And you can imagine that this would have your grain line going right down here. And you can use a grid like this if you're using translucent paper or just use the lines that you drew. And then you wanna keep everything lined up. So you wanna make sure 
that the fold edge is straight down from the folded edge up here. It's, you don't want to end up with it over here or over here. Just make sure it's really straight down from that fold edge and that this line is aligned with our guide. So we just tape that in place. Then we can cut away this excess here. Again, that's a straight line because we're cutting on the fold. And then over here, you can just use your ruler and your pen to redraw this line. And we'll be adding a little bit and taking away a little bit just to straighten that out. And then you just cut away that excess. Well, I hope that you found that video helpful. If you're interested in the Mary Tank Top pattern, it's available in my shop and I will put a link to that in the show notes. This is a great basic pattern and I really designed it for beginners. So even if you're pretty new to sewing, this is a pattern that should be pretty easy for you to accomplish and have success with. It's available in sizes zero to 32 and there are three cup sizes for every size. So you can choose between an AB cup, a CD cup, or an EF cup. So if you'd like to support the channel and all this free content, I invite you to go check out the pattern shop or you can buy me a coffee. And if you haven't already, I would be so honored if you hit the little subscribe button down below and then hit the bell to be notified every time I release a new video. Happy sewing.